Hello, here's a quick uh, tutorial on how to zoom using Larva. So the Larva executable is running right now, and I'm uh, going to need some data to gather. So uh, just got a potentiometer hooked up here, and there's a quick waveform we can take a look at. If I wanted to zoom in on this guy, um, the easiest thing to do is to, uh, to use auto scale. So if I just come over here to the axis, I can right click and say auto scale Y. Um, and the, the Y axis changes to, uh, to be the full range of the data that I'm looking at. Uh, the X auto scale is on by default. If I click outside the axis, I get some more stuff, but you'll see that X and Y are auto scale are still there. So if I want to go and find uh, these peaks, then um, what I can do is I can type into the largest and smallest uh, X axis here, change those. So if I were to say, all right, well, I want to go to up to about 500, I could go over here to five, the end and click 500, but it didn't take. The reason is, is because auto scale is on. So I've got to turn auto scale off. Notice my data stream runs off the end here. If I try and change one of the settings in the middle, um, this actually isn't going to get me what I want. It doesn't actually, uh, this actually did work that time. Um, sometimes that has not actually worked for me in the past. So here I can come to the edge and just type in 500. Uh, I want the other end to be about 350, so I can come over here, double click, type in 350. I've got a good range there. Same thing for Y. Right, I can come in here and type, but if I do that, it won't work because auto scale's on. So I can give that a try. Maybe I want to zoom in on this lower peak down here, maybe make this 250. And sure enough, it, it changes it for a second, but pops back. So if I turn auto scale off, let's say 250, now we're starting to zoom in on this point. Um, in fact, we can probably zoom in a little further if we want. There's 390, and call this one uh, 415, and there's our peak, 205. There's, uh, this is just using the executable. A lot more functionality can be uh, derived from using the included source files that are included with Larva. You can show the graph palette, and then you can, uh, you can zoom in using visual tools. You can also use property nodes to zoom. You can show cursors, show their values. You can show the, the values of everything on the graph. So there's a lot more capability that can be used from, um, from just using LabVIEW to modify the source files. That's where the real power is. So any more questions, uh, just check out angstromdesigns.com. If you don't have Larva, download it for free there, www.angstromdesigns.com. Thanks.